Hey, it's Suzanne at Yeda Creative again, and I am coming at you with a couple of different things that have totally changed my life, changed my outlook, <laughs> changed my everything about my business and running my business, and also just my life. So, backstory. I have considered myself a pretty creative person. I have big ideas, I wanted to, I, I have a writing background and everything, and I have felt myself be totally paralyzed at the blank page sometimes. It's just this blank page anxiety that has kept me stuck. And I also have felt it in my business too, where I have big dreams and visions. And then when I sit down on the computer, all I can do is fart around on Facebook. And that's all I am able to do. But with these two things in place that have totally shifted everything that I do, I've been able to like unlock that roadblock. So for example, okay, I sit down, I want to write the great American novel, right? Oh my God, right? But I, so, so I feel like personally affected by this because I consider myself a writer, I consider myself a good writer, but I just hate the act of writing. It's so paralyzing for me. So I have found a couple of different ways around it and using that, I've also applied it to my business. The first one is break it down and the second one is get help. And I seriously can't do either of them. I can't, I can't, do what I want to do without either of them, even though I fought it tooth and nail. I was like, well, I can't do this. So for example, I actually wanted to write a whole bunch of things. There's a lot of stuff in my head that I want to express, but I've never just found the, the time to sit down and stare at a blank word, word document. So what I have found to break it down is using a couple of different ways to get the content out and then retranslating it from there. So, for example, Facebook Lives or Instagram Lives. Uh, using that to come on and just speak it so that I can work around my fear of the blank page. And then having an assistant come in and do a write-up of what I'm actually talking about and then I can shape it and then I can edit it because for me I'm a much stronger editor than I am like a content creator constant content creator the other thing that I have found that has helped which is so interesting and this has been going back for for a long time writers know this trick uh they used to do or they still, still probably do uh a bunch of index cards two by four index cards and would just like write different plot points or different outlines and rearrange the cards. For me, what has worked is literally doing like Google Slides. So I would, because I'm only focusing on one idea at a time and each slide only has one idea at a time. So I can, uh, I don't have the pressure of writing a whole bunch of sentences. <laughs> I can outline things. I can narrate things. And then again, from there, either take the transcript of what I'm talking about and run it through something like rev.com or otter.ai to get a transcript and then edit from there. Just so that I can get the ideas out and not feel like I have to produce like this big, long soliloquy, I could just do one idea at a time. And the same goes for my productivity in my business. So if I have a big fat list of to-dos, the biggest trick in breaking it down, so I've got break it down and, and get help, the biggest trick in breaking it down that has worked for me, finally, finally, instead of a to-do list that has all of the big ideas and all the small ideas all mixed up. I have a next actions list and everything on that list only takes about 10 minutes to do. And that way I could just, it almost feels ridiculous to put it down or even write it down. It's like, oh my gosh, it will take almost as much time to write it down as it would to do it. So I have, I have two rules around that. One, and I've learned this from uh, Dave Allen's Getting Things Done, 
if it's less than two minutes to do, I just do it and not write down. Anything that I write down on my to-do list, though, has to only take 10 minutes or so to complete. So if it is like I want to clean my closet, the thing that I write down is clear the floorway or clear the, the entrance to the closet or clear this one cubby hole and this one's desk on, on the closet. So really breaking it down. But also getting help is actually having some sort of accountability partner or having some project manager. That's why a project management is a, a role. That's why it is a career. Uh, or some sort of mentor or things like that. So I have become that, that person for people who need marketing help. It's that person that can help you uh, project manage and, and break things down and help get you think, get things done keep you accountable to certain deadlines. That's exactly what we're doing in the six week do the thing program for Facebook and Instagram ads. But I'm also doing that and offering that in general with this upcoming do the thing club, which I'm really, really excited about. So if you go to do the thing dot club or do the thing club.com, either one will work because, but if you go to do the thing dot club and you sign up for the email, list. I have a little spot there that says, what's your number one productivity tip? If you leave me a tip, that might end up in future Facebook lives. It might end up being a blog post. That might end up being a slide deck that I create. Uh, but yeah, go there and sign up because we are going to be launching a beta test for people who need a little bit of accountability, need somebody to help break things down and sort of project manage whatever they're doing. Um, it, whether it's your big audacious hairy goals or it's just organize the closet we are planning some really cool stuff there so leave me a tip what's the number one productivity tip in your life you don't have to be perfect it doesn't have to like work all of the time for you but the thing that helps let us know what that is so do the thing dot club go ahead and sign up and we're going to tell you when our beta test launches it's going to be in january actually in December, we're going to have some pretty cool launches too, but for the most part, um, January is going to be our big launch. Day. So thank you so much, and I'm going to see you in the next video uh, when I go live next time. All right, take care.